You know, um, first, everybody welcome to Orange County, Southern Baptist of 149 Southern Baptist churches here, 90 of them started by Saddleback Church. You know, it's customary um, for a, a guy who's about to be hung to let him say his dying words. <laughs> I have no intention of defending myself. I have taught my kids and grandkids for years. I am most like Christ when I refuse to defend myself. Amen. The Bible says Jesus spoke not a word unto them when Pilate accused him of all kinds of things. So I have no intention. Uh, I have most of you on my mailing list anyway, and I can write you and tell you what I believe about the gift of pastoring as opposite from the office of pastoring. But I'm not here to talk about that. Lunchtime, I wrote you a love letter, and I'd like for my possibly, likely, last convention to read it to you. Kay and I could have not built Saddleback Church to its size and influence in any other denomination. I love Southern Baptist. I am a fourth generation Southern Baptist pastor. My great grandfather was led to Christ by Charles Spurgeon and sent to America as a church planter. Saddleback was sponsored by the North American Mission Board. I served on the staff of the California State Convention and the Texas State Convention as a teenager. Billy Graham picked me up when I was 18 and for the next 52 years mentored me because I started at 16 years old, hired by the California Convention to preach youth revivals, and I had and preached, I had preached over, 100. over 120 uh, harvest crusades before I was 20. Billy took this long-haired, skinny Californian and mentored me for the next 52 years. Here's my love letter to you, because I really am grateful. If this is my last convention, because of Southern Baptist polity, I was allowed to serve one church for life. That's not possible in most denominations. And, get, grew, and grew it to become the largest church in this convention. Because Southern Baptist gave me a passion for evangelism and mission, we baptized 56,631 new believers. And as a Southern Baptist Church sent 26,869 members overseas to 197 nations. Because Southern Baptist taught me the value of a membership covenant, 78,157 members of our church signed our membership covenant after taking a four-hour membership class. Because Southern Baptist taught me to emphasize the priority of Bible study. We now have 9,173 home Bible studies in homes in 162 Southern California cities. Because Southern Baptist taught me the value of church planting, as I already mentioned, we planted 90 in Orange County alone and literally thousands around the world. Because Southern Baptist taught me to honor and love the local church, I've had the privilege for 43 years of training 1.1 million pastors. That, sorry friends, that's more than all the seminaries put together. I owe you all so much. So I sincerely say thank you Southern Baptist for shaping my life. And in You're never gonna find another Baptist who agrees with you completely on everything. There are Baptist brothers here today who don't believe Jesus died for the whole world. But we imagine somehow get along with them. So as Western culture grows more dark, more evil, more secular, we have to decide, are we going to treat each other as allies or adversaries? Yeah. Second, since this is the year 2022, that means we are 2022 years from the birth of Christ. 
Now we know Christ started his ministry at 30 years of age. Luke tells us that, had a three and a half year ministry. Christ died in AD 33. He was resurrected in AD 33. He gave the great commission in AD 33. He sent the Holy Spirit and started the church in AD 33. That means 2033, just 11 years from today, is the 2000th anniversary of the Great Commission. I hope one of you, because I won't be here next year, will make a resolution that Baptists take the next 10 years to finish the task of the Great Commission in our generation before the 2000th anniversary of the church. Are we gonna keep bickering over secondary issues? Or are we gonna keep the main thing, the main thing? We need to finish the task and that will make God smile. Thank you everybody, I love you.